Have you got that embedded in there? Sorry? Have you got that embedded in there? Yeah. I think Jess is going to be woofing all the way through this video. Though. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, we're just getting this done uh, before the BBC come, they're on the way. So, <laughs> yeah, I know. But, uh, we'll tell, explain why in a minute. This is a base I'm building for... Oh, uh, Aldi. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Brain gone now. Um, I'm just, I'm just marking out the uh, control panels where it's all going. It's, it's all um, Bartolini pickups. This is Bartolini actives. Um, a shallow bridge. No expense spared. No expense spent. Shallow machine heads are going on. It's all gold. Yeah. All gold fittings. You can see it's a very nicely figured maple top. It's got a wench down the middle. It's a, it's a through neck. I'll unplug this. Let's just get that off. It's a straight through neck, mm -hmm. all the way through. No. Yeah. No. And uh, it's a nice bit of eucalyptus stripe there. Yeah. You see, it's maple, 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 maple. That's uh, that's uh, rock maple. It's much uh, harder. This Canadian. Canadian maple, yeah. So it's sustainable. It uh, grows quite fast, doesn't it? Very fast, yeah. Uh, and it's. Um, I don't think it's so much how fast it grows because it's slow growing in in Canada anyway because it's cold climate. It's the uh, the quantity they've got plenty and they're always replanting. Billions of trillions. Yeah, well, it's, yeah. and the, uh, yeah, and they've got a lot of well, there's there's lots and lots of trees, and not many About people. Ten people. Yeah. 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 Uh, she's yeah. nervous. So, um, so that's that. Um, Actually, uh, are the there, ebony on this. I, I took, are there any many sheep in Canada? I've no idea. That's the question, isn't it? <laughs> I've no idea. What was just jesting? No, well, I was wondering that. Uh, I don't know. This this is my last piece of ebony that I got off the one big block when I made the triple neck. Oh yeah. I used all the ebony. Well, you, must, you must have more ebony there. Oh yes. But yeah. well, this is off that one block. I bought okay. this one specially years and years ago. Yeah. So it had been here a long time before I started slicing it up, and that went in the triple neck. All that was covered in this. Made uh, this ebony. How, how many years ago was that when you well, bought it? it? I uh, it's probably 15, 20 years. Oh really? Ago. Yeah, okay. I and mean, it was already old piece. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, a big yeah. old plank. Yeah. Uh, so it was nice to have in stock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Letting it just slowly mature. As was, the, as was the same with the Dave Gilmore guitar. I had a piece of rosewood I bought a long, long time ago, long, far away into the distant past. Over, over, over there. Uh, well, further than over there. That wall. Yeah. And um, so that was uh, when he ordered it, he wanted a solid rosewood neck, and I just had the very piece. Totally solid. Solid. Yeah. Neck. Not two halves banged together. Oh no, the fingerboard was separate because yeah. I, I don't really much care too much for not, uh, you know, putting them separate. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. You could have warping and then you can, the whole thing could go. Well, uh, that's that's the next video, so yeah. Yeah, anyway, so that's that one. Yeah, I've yeah. got a base here, I've just finished. Oh, you bring it in here, are you? Yeah. And I built these in, in the before I had my factory originally. And these are a fretted fretless, fretless, fretless. Well, let's, let's go with this. Okay. okay. Let's, let's go for the top of the neck. Okay, the top, well, it's locked, the strings are locked up there, no machine heads. Right. You've got two strings and they're fretted halfway across. Yeah. So the bottom strings are fretted. Yeah. The bottom two, and these are fretless. Up to the 12th fret. Up to the 12th fret, and then on beyondwards to infinity, or three octaves. Almost infinity. Infinity, as Buzz Lightyear would say. So we've got, uh, so it's fretted, fretless, fretless. Fretted, fretless, fretted, fretted, fretless, fretless. Fretted, fretless, fretless. It's active. John East actives are inside there. Okay, any particular model of John East actives? Or are they just, is it just John, is that the model, the one the one model he does? No, he does loads. How oh, does he? Yeah. It's, these are, all they are are basic bass and treble, because they're okay. fantastic, these are. What's that? Uh, it's coil tap. Oh yeah. So we've got a series parallel on that pickup. Okay. And uh, we've got a volume control, just a passive volume. Okay. Yeah. So we've got a volume. Uh, passive volume on the yes, passive. Yes, passive. Setup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you go into the volume control before. Okay. You go into the actives. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then we've got AVM tuning system. So what's the what's the pickup again? It's a shallow. Shallow. Okay. Yeah. Yes. 
Well, can I have any pickup on this? Yeah. Any particular model? Uh, PBX? Yeah. Yeah. Or JBX? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, what are these? Battery uh, there. The tuning things again? Tuning pegs? AVM. Tuning system, AVM. German. Oh, yeah. Uh, have you used that on something else? Have you made a. Did you make a fretless recently? I did. I made a. Uh, uh, years ago, I made a. A head sockless one. Yeah, it was a twin neck. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. It was on. It's on the website. It's red. Yeah, it's just the same. Um, yeah, same company. So you like that and thought, oh, I'll do yeah, that again. Yeah. Uh, so that. So that's that. Battery. Yeah. yeah. Battery. It's like a satin finish as well. It's a satin finish. Quite nice, actually, isn't it? Yeah, it's two-piece maple mm. through neck. Mm. Well, it's just the neck with a bit of a bit of stuff added on the sides. Oh, a massive big body. Yeah. And a maple fingerboard. Now, I will say that I know that Sting, well, Sting's had one of these. Sting yes, had one of these, yeah. Derek Holt, Derek he played Holt, one out a bit. He also, didn't he take his, he played one at the Conservative Party he conference? Did. And he took it in in a gun bag over his shoulder and nobody stopped him. Yeah. He phoned me up about that one. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure they had no worries really, but uh, I've seen Derek playing this on a video on YouTube with the, the band Grand Alliance. That's right, yeah. yeah. Here's his red one. Um, who else? I uh, know. What was that guy from that that rock band? Didn't he? I uh, know. What's that guy? Uh, beard, beard. Yeah, he lost a leg. Oh, I know what you mean. Uh, Gordon. 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 Uh, Gordon, yeah. Gordon yeah. What was his band Cullen. called? Yeah, he played Warfare. Yeah, did he have one of them? Or I, I think he may have had a headless one, but not oh, that was shape. It. But he had various shapes because he, he had all shapes. He had lots of explorer. Uh, no, David, Cr David Crosby band or something. Or Crosby, right. Stills and Nash, Crosby Stills and Nash. Yeah. played for. Yeah. He had lots and lots of flying V's. Well, there's, like, there's, there's a guy who's got a few of your fretted, fretted, fretless, fretless, but they, and he's got, <laughs> only got two fingers. He's like that. Oh, right. Remember? Because he contacted you. Oh yeah, and he's he's online playing them. And he's only got he's only got his first finger, his little finger I'm not seeing him. on the fret on the fretboard hand. All right, it's quite it's a bit like a Django thing, but actually with no f his no fingers at all. Brilliant. Well, not brilliant for him. No, <laughs> but it's it's good. It's different, isn't it? Well, if it's that good, we could try it with you. Eh? If, if it's that good, the prospect of having yeah, we'll no all have to have our fingers amputated. Less fingers, we can just cut them off. But that's very nice, yeah. I like I've that. got a Um. So you've been basing it then recently? Uh, just at the moment, I've got still <laughs> Gordon's, uh, Go uh, Les Godfrey. I've still got oh, Les yeah. Godfrey's guitars I haven't done because yeah. of the spraying. Basis. Because of my lungs. Oh yeah. I've really struggled. Oh yeah. Having a face mask on for a while. I could do that one. Was that for breathing or for not scaring members of the public? Both. Yeah. Apart from going to the next uh, <laughs> stage of the video for today, which <laughs> is something else. Yeah. What else is there quickly before your guitar there? Yeah, we'll do that in the end. Uh, oh yeah, well that's obviously very nice. Yeah. This one, uh, this one's come in for a service, and it absolutely well, it's filthy. Look at that, viewers. It's got no shine on it yeah. at all. That that's just cup? lack. That's nothing to do with the polish. That's just lack of just a wipe with an oily rag occasionally. Cheap lacquer. Cheap, cheap lacquer. My ass. I'm going to show you an example of this cheap lacquer in a, a second. Uh, I almost, I, I am going to probably put some new pickups on that. Uh, but it's a very, very nice guitar to play. It should be. Shame I'm not, I know, I play that a lot now. I, sat, I, I use it mainly, because uh, I'm not gigging at the moment. And uh, I just use it to sort of uh, run my fingers over a few scales and things each day on my sofa. Yeah. But uh, that's it, I like that, I like that a lot. Um, right then, okay, let's conclude this one, then we'll go on to stage two, which is your video You're drinking coffee that and Cold also coffee, oh yeah one. the uh how you built the answer for dave gilmore's answer oh okay and then we use your old one as an example and we can also show you the, uh, the example of what not to do well the, would you like to earn yourself seventy-five thousand pounds oh yes. yeah there you go then okay. so this is how you earn yourself seventy-five thousand pounds a, a customer no, i think this, 000 is, 000 I think this is somebody being can't find me oh, a, hello so, what? Doug's too ugly to be on lens. Hang on.
do we want to talk about the Gibson E thing next? Well, this is the reason we're talking about this particular oh, yes. Gibson E thing. It's been resprayed, as you can say, it's black. Looks like uh, a bit of firewood. Yeah. Uh, I'm just cleaning it all up, really. Uh, the, the next one broke twice. Was that a girlfriend or a wife attack? It's just they fall over, don't they? And they're made of mahogany necks and they break. No, but proportionately, Doug, you've had a lot of guitar Gibsons come in with that have been the result of a wife attack. That's you? right, yes. I, I think um, I think this must be the home of guitars that have been attacked by wives and girlfriends. Yes. Which is no bad thing. Because you know, very, I always find things like that funny. As long as they don't do it to mine. What was that one where somebody threw threw a guitar out the oh, window? Oh, brilliant! Hang on, no, and it landed on the front, and he's got his belt. Right. Belt. Um, no, he's Gibson. The thing the landed back. out in the. Uh, they lived in a flat upstairs, flat in. It was this H. I can't remember his name. Uh, he might have been. Ah, no. Uh, the guitar is from Manchester. Anyway, they lived in a flat. Him and his wife, or girlfriend. Yeah. And then when they fell out, she threw out his guitar through the window, obviously. Yeah. From an upstairs window, I think straight through the window. Maximum damage. The glass. Yeah. So the, the first one out was his last pull, which yeah. landed like that, that yeah, way yeah. eventually. Yeah. With, it broke it in yeah. a bit. It's funny. And then the le and then this strat, strat came yeah. flying out afterwards. Body first. Uh, uh, body first, Very obviously at the end, yeah. and it landed right there. And so they got a strap button right there, yeah. right deep in. And then he, the body disintegrated as well of yeah. the strat. But he left it like that, didn't he? No, I fixed the strat. No, but he left the, left the damage in. He left good. the damage yeah. in the Les Paul, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He wanted that there it's permanently. Yeah. Yeah, so he'd remind himself. Yeah, yeah. Don't go out with that one again. Yeah. But it was, it looked really good, actually. You could tell it was. Yeah. The, the, you know, the, the belt uh, metal. No, the strat was in all little bits, if you remember, the body. Yeah, I can't know. All I repaired it, it all. It was the strap button that made the dent in the But yeah, the strap button, the, but then the body of the strap just fell oh, out, you know, yeah, just yeah. burst, basically. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, which was quite funny. It wasn't funny for him, but you know. Wonder if we stayed together. You know, when you're a sick bastard like me, you find things like that funny as long as it doesn't happen to you. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. It's like laughing at somebody falling over. That was funny. Yeah. And I wanted the canal boards. Which one was that one? He was, he was playing on the canal board onto his messes gone and picked his guitar up there. Do you remember the other thing? Really? Why? <laughs> You don't ask that question, do you? <laughs> Got to do with us. Nothing to do with it. Move along, nothing to see here. Yes, just the man being attacked. So what's wrong with that guitar then, Doug? This? Yeah. Uh, well, I fixed the repair. Well, you were to, uh, I'm going to do the uh, the fret. No, what was the repair? I think we got the sidetracked. The net was broken. OK. Oh, yeah, just there, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, just, well, it isn't just there, but it was all over. It was a bit uh, messy, but still, it's fixed now. And now we're getting rid of the... Uh, I'll probably do for a new piece of sandpaper, because I think I've rubbed all the bits off this one. I don't like using new sandpaper. No, too aggressive. Just don't. Too aggressive. Sachi. Can you use a lower grade new sandpaper? No. That's I'll equivalent use... to a worn, part worn... No, but grade. this one's... That one's... I'm taking the piss now, because there's nothing left on it. <laughs> It's just coming off with friction now. Why is there a bottle of whiskey here? Are you struggling to get through the day without booze or something? Are you struggling to get through the day without booze? Without who? Booze. Booze? Oh yeah, yeah, that's the afternoon fix. There you go. Caught at last. They've just bought it for me, haven't they? I know, I'm just joking. Which is very nice, and I'm all, all tempted to put some in my coffee. Well, you'll notice that I haven't. Because I'm a good boy. Have you got it in that black jar? That old jar with black paint? <laughs> yeah. That would be the classic piss head trick. Yeah. Yeah. So what are you quick? So what else are you doing to that then? I'm going to sand it all down, uh, like I'm doing there, but all the rest, and then it's going to be repainted 
Oh, yes. Did you taxi? Yeah. That was quick. Oh, no, he is. Oh, they only normally take an hour and a half when he's pissing down. That's it. 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 If you want to talk Jack Reacher, I'm your man. I've done them all. I know, I've read them all, but I'm on, I'm on the second way round now. Okay, which one? I don't know what I'm reading anymore. You just said you finished me Jack Reacher. I finished, I so, finished me Jack Reacher. Which one was it then? And I can't remember. Well, okay, what was the, the what premise? Was what was it about? Oh, it was about hope and despair. Yeah, but what was what was the storyline? That the was it. The hope and despair was the, the two towns. Hope and despair. And despair was where they had the mis the uh, the place where they were killing people. No, they weren't. Oh no, that people. was uh, something cross, wasn't it? Uh, hope and despair. Yeah. So what was happening in despair? That was mother's rest, you were thinking. A mother's rest, yeah. Killing people. What's no, despair hope and was? despair. Despair was where the bloke had the big metalworks factory where it was melting ah, down cars and stuff. Did they, they had a massive bomb? He, bomb. he built some he kind got of bomb. The bomb. Oh yeah. Bomb. That was the bomb. So the bomb's gone off. So the end of that. Um, I'm casting around now oh, for another book. Hey, listen, I started reading an author called Robert Cray, as in C R A I S S, double S. C R A I double S, yeah. Same sort of thing. He's written a couple of his books have become uh, uh, Hollywood movies. Re right. Really good. He's done about 20 books, so I tend to buy about four or five, you know, yeah. in one go and read them in order. Really yeah. quite good. Alright, so I've got to give him a go, sir. Yeah, yeah, really good. Well, you'll have to lend me the first one. Okay, then. yeah, yeah. I think you might like it. Not no, quite as long as the Reacher stuff, and not quite, uh, yeah, a little bit shorter. Because he is tough, the man. Yeah, he's a bit of a. No, he's not as. He's more. You've got to remember that Jack Reacher is Superman. No, but he's just a, he's just a thug, isn't he? Whereas this guy, he's uh, he's a bit of a karate guy, but he's got his mate. He's a, de a detective, proud detective, and his mate Pike. Yeah. Is like a bit of a weird sort of uh, ex-cop nutter. Oh, nice. Who owns a gun shop. Yeah. Okay. Pretty good. Yeah. Very good. Yes. Yes. So we'll put yeah. an electric sander on this because I've got these uh, fest tools. You wouldn't think Jack Reacher. Eh? You wouldn't think Jack Reacher was a rough, tough, tumble guy, would you? And you look who plays him in the film. Well, it's Tom. What are they changing <laughs> Tom that? Tom. I don't like Tom Cruise. I think he's great in his film, but that was one step too far, really. I did actually, I watched that one the other week, it was on telly, and like, I said to Kerry, like, knowing what Jack Reacher's like, yeah. it is quite ridiculous. Yeah. But it wasn't a bad film. That yeah, was great film. Yeah. So the next one they're doing, they're having a big guy, aren't they? Oh, they? Yeah. They've had Liam Neeson, shouldn't they? He's too old, though, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, they need, like, some guy who's big. I don't think there is anybody big enough, though, is there? No, there will be. I see Roger Howard's died. That's shocking, that is. Yeah. Oh, he wasn't young, was he? But, uh, he was old. Look at Howard. The German guy, blonde hair. Played like. Uh, I thought it was Dutch. Oh, like well, Dutch then, yeah. Uh, uh, the Hitcher. And like. Uh, what's that film he did that? Uh, Blade Runner. Blade Runner, Blade, Blade Runner. Blade Runner. Blade He's Blade like the robot in Blade Runner. He yeah. was a, a replicant. Yeah. It's had all sorts of electronic gizmos in it. Yeah, it's here indeed, they're all coming out. But that's all, like, the new ones don't have uh, automated tuning heads, do they, anymore? They've dropped that now. Yeah, but, oh. that idea is much a shite. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing the amount of work they put into building all that, like. They're far better off having my answers there's some fixing to some of them. Tell you what, stop doing that. Then tell me about what else you're doing here, otherwise it's just a... Uh, okay, so I'm doing that. Something. Yeah, yeah. This, uh, this is going to be a... Uh, what's happened? A status quo. Sewage, has, has the sewer park erupted? She's been doing it all day. Jesus Christ. Uh, yes. So this... Is uh, this was? Hey, that was mine. No, it wasn't. 
Um, well, it wasn't but right, it's yeah. a square. Yeah. And I thought it was MDF because it was, you know, because it's so bland. Yeah. Can you see a grain? You couldn't before, obviously. It was. I don't it's a bit odd, isn't it? I can't remember whether it was sunburst. I can't remember what it was. Is that, it might have been black. Well, obviously, black. obviously, you can see a grain. See, yeah, you can see a grain just about. Very, very fine. It's going to be green, see-through green. This is. Oh yeah. To do a status quo tribute thing, guitar. Oh yeah. Who's, who's having this? Is he going to be in a, a status crew? Oh yeah. Drilling all in it. Eh? Fact, drill all in it. Drilling all in it. You know the tuning on the Crow guys, you know when you do your sort of like first first and then the third finger on the fifth, then the little set the little finger playing the uh, sixth, did it did whatever it is. Yeah. They tuned it so that they just had the flat finger and then just went did it Sounds sensible to me. No, because if you if you do that sort of, you know, twelve bar thing like that, with your fingers over like five frets, it's it's quite tiring after a while. Only if you're a big gladdies like you. Yeah. Right. Anyway, go on. So, uh, so anyway, that's uh, oh, right. so that's that one. I've got the neck in the in the spray booth. Yeah. I've reshaped the neck. I've taken. I've reshaped it in my image. How oh, I like necks. God. I was going to play that. It was horrible before. <laughs> that neck will be unplayable, Dave. Be quiet. You like my necks. Uh, this. Is, um, <laughs> this is an acoustic guitar I can't talk about. Which next are you talking about? Right, we can't talk about this. Oh, yeah. This is a secret mission. But because of your mighty ego, you're going to we, tell no, them all right. No, this is our secret mission that you can't be talked to about. But this is, I've made the jig so far. Okay, <laughs> well, should we have a guess? No. Don't even think about guessing. But it's nothing to do with the likes of you. Well, you brought it up. I didn't. I'm just saying it's on the bench and you've been videoing what, what it. What other term is for somebody who brings something up and says, I simply can't tell you anything about it? A twat. This. Right, now this is, uh, this is a piece of bird's eye maple, as you can see. Yeah. Uh, and that's a two-way truss rod. I'm yeah. just, I'm just uh, machining it ready to pull in. And there are some more. That is correct. Some more. Be, that's very faded, this one, look. Yeah, very nice. Lovely, lovely. Are these just for your stock? Yes. So that's why they're on the back burner. They're just for stock. There's the back of the uh, that base I'm doing for LD. Oh, yeah. That's the point ball base. Uh, excuse me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's having all Bartolini stuff in it. Oh, yeah, the lot more. Yeah. Yeah, but well, really took his off the three amps yeah. and everything. <sighs> That's me, Freddy Fretless. Fretless, yeah, place. it's not gone yet. It isn't going, it's not for sale, it's for looking at. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, okay, what else you got going on? Uh, oh, yes, the ukulele. I've got the, I've got the wood from the make the ukulele with. Uh, yep. Thanks, Jess. This is the wood. Uh, this is the sides. Uh, keep it covered up. I don't want it warping. And there's the. Uh, and there's the. Don't it warping? Just drops it and it cracks. Yeah. There's the back. Oh yeah. And a couple of fronts there. You've done that to. Uh, yeah, just to demonstrate. Keep it flat. That's uh, that's for. That that we're not talking about. And this is colour. Hawaiian colour. And this is what should be for a dreadnought, mm. but it's actually going to be the front back of the ukulele. Oh, yeah, very nice. Yeah. Yes. Well, it's expensive colour, as you know. But I've never bought any, but I can imagine it is. Yeah. It is, yeah, very. One of the dearest ones. Mm, nice. Nowadays, it used to be for nothing. It's a wine, isn't it? So, is Kara is a, a replacement for. Well, they use it on the ukuleles, don't they? It's no, from, what, what's, what? the, what's the traditional light-coloured wood? Is it the spruce, light one? spruce or cedar? Is it spruce? Spruce. It's, it's spruce. got a very bright sound, spruce, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, so that's uh, cedar sides. No, yeah. it isn't. It's uh, cypress. Cypress. Cypress sides and back, and cedar neck. So this kara is it slightly darker sounding? 
Yeah, it's a great sound. That's how I made the triple neck with old, old colour. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's got to be good. Yeah. Beer, beer, whiskey. And that was all colour. And we haven't got any pictures of it, have we? I've no idea, I can't remember. What's in there then? In this. Yeah, Coffee. We, no, we know what's in that. Coffee. No, what's in there? Nothing. You can eat. Me, me and Dave aren't bothered if you're injecting heroin. You can do what you want, can't you? Those things are iconic. Yeah, they were. It's I mess. The last of a breed of actors in Hollywood. Oh, it's not too bad. And Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis, yeah. Yeah, and Sharon Glass. And we were uh, signed to seven-year movie deals. Yeah, yeah. And while we were under contract, they were paying so, yeah, us like four hundred and fifty dollars a week. Don't really week, look at that. But they were loaning us out to other you know, to look at that. filming companies, television companies. Oh, is that the way it works? Yeah. Listen, well, you switch more. that camera off. I'll tell you why. Work. We're not from the tax office. Well, before we do that, anything else you want to say? Nothing to do with the tax office. You tell you I'm paying taxes. I'm paying taxes. You're obsessed. But for me, it was fantastic. Yeah, I'll get back a bit. I said, is there anything else you want to say before we turn it off? No, not now. You brought in the tax office. You can fuck off.